Hello! Welcome to a signed page unboxing. This is a nice little book haul of lots of signed paperbacks, which include a lot of Terry Brooks titles. So the signed page is run by Sean Speakman, same guy that does uh, Grim Oak Press. And the signed page is his way, it's an online bookstore, it's his way of helping uh, book uh, buyers and fantasy fans in particular acquire signed copies of trade editions that they wouldn't normally be able to get. And so they cover every single Terry Brooks title uh, upon release uh, prior to Naomi Novik having uh, what sounds like Carpal Tunnel. It carried every Novik title upon release. Uh, you've got a whole bunch of different titles in there. And uh, usually the first uh, editions, but every now and then they are the official bookstore of a con. Uh, in this case, I think it was Rose City Comic Con, and they had a bunch of leftover books signed by Terry Brooks and the likes of many others, and they were offering them on sale via the signed page. So I'm always a big fan of getting more Terry Brooks signatures or just signatures in general. So I said, you know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to buy some books. So here is my little book haul of six different titles. Let's dive into what we've got. I, uh, I'm only familiar with three of these titles, which are these three right here. Uh, so this is the Shannara trilogy in that order. You have Sword of Shannara or Shannara, Elfstones of Shannara or Shannara, and the Wish Song of Shannara or Shannara. Uh, one, two, three. Uh, these are the older Del Rey versions. This is the one from the Shannara Chronicles, the series, which is why it says book one there, even though it's technically book two of the original series. You go Sword, Elfstones, Wish Song. If you haven't read them, I highly recommend checking them out. Uh, the largest of the three is the Sword of uh, the Sword here, which is signed by Terry Brooks, which is fantastic. Uh, this is my least favorite of the three. Uh, I mean, it's a very long novel, very good fantasy novel, uh, but my personal criticism of it is that it borrows a little too much or uh, from Lord of the Rings. It wears influences a little much on its sleeves. Uh, so anyways, the Sword of Shannara uh, follows uh, the the druid Alanon, who is your Gandalf character, uh, showing up in the Shady Vale, and he is getting the half-elf uh, Shay Olmsford, uh, who needs to, you know, defeat the, uh, the Warlock Lord by obtaining the Sword of Shannara. I'm not going to tell you too much about the sword itself, because that, you know, that would be spoiling the book. Uh, but there are, you know, various elements within here uh, that kind of, I don't want to say plagiarize, because it's not really plagiarism, it's its uh, heavily influenced by Lord of the Rings. You know, you got your little coalition, your little fellowship, if you will, of various races and characters all banding together to help little Shea Olmsford uh, succeed. Uh, you have the uh, human character who is going to be the rightful heir to a different kingdom and then he goes back to that kingdom to get assistance but he finds out the king is being under the influence of another guy who what's just called worm tongue because it's basically worm tongue it yeah but it's it's still a good read i don't want to disparage it too much uh my personal favorite of the three is elf stones this one is the one that they rightfully was the one they adapted into the show i mean the show wasn't that great and it was very loose adaptation but uh yeah still good Still worth checking out. This one's a little yellowed, but it is what it is. Uh, this one is not signed? Did he not sign this one? He didn't sign this one. I thought he signed all three. I guess he didn't sign this one. This is an unsigned copy, but, you know, it is what it is. Still, nice to have a nice little paperback copy. Illustrated by Daryl K. Sweet. Uh, you have the original Brothers Hildebrand uh, maps and the original uh, cover. Uh, anyways... This one follows Will Olmsford uh, as the druid Alanon shows up and says, Hey, uh, the mythical tree, the Elkris, very large protective tree, is dying. We need your help to escort uh, a person who can save the tree. Fantastic tale, much more original than the sword. I mean, the sword is still slightly original, but this is where he really starts making his own path. This is where the sword picks up, which starred uh, Austin Butler, Elvis, from the most recent Elvis movie. Then you get the Wish Song, which takes place afterwards. The next generation of Olmsfords is here, including Bryn. Uh, once again, the druid Alanon shows up. There is the signature from Terry Brooks. Fantastic. 
uh, the uh, the druid shows up because he wants to bother the Olmsfords again because that is very much his M.O. Uh, this time there is a evil book in which uh, Bryn Olmsford is the only one who can destroy it and help to save the four lands. Uh, Bryn being Will's daughter and uh, his son's also Pear. Pear? No, Pear is the other book. Yeah. Uh, what the hell is the son's name? What was the son's name? I'm screwing this up. Anyways. Any, any, anyways. Bryn's the one that really has the wish song that can make utter change. The wish song being uh, a result of having Elfstone magic infused in her bloodline. Anyways, great read. The end of the original Shannara trilogy. Uh, then, these are sold out now. I went on the site earlier today just to see if they're still available. The, those, those three are still available. Uh, these two, which is the Landover series, are sold out. We'll get to the last one in a second. Now, these ones I have not read, uh, but it's really cool. They got two little omnibuses. Uh, one that includes the first three titles of Landover, Magic Kingdom for Sale Sold, Black Unicorn, Wizard at Large. The next one involving uh, Tangle Box and Witch's Brew. Uh, there's a six-volume, The Princess of Landover, which is not included in this because it's presumably this was published before. Oh, no, I guess it wasn't published before because it says a Princess of Landover right there. But, you know, probably writes or, you know, not wanting to put the newest novel in the omnibus. Um, anyways, signed by Terry Brooks. Fantastic. Uh, this involves a Chicago lawyer who decides to buy the Magical Kingdom of Landover, which is a play on, like, Landover the Rainbow. Uh, this sounds a lot more whimsical. It almost sounds like a Terry Pratchett novel, a little, uh, little Discworld uh, kind of absurdist. But that could just be my interpretation. It could be nothing like it. But uh, I've heard phenomenal things, and I've never checked them out before. So what better time to check it out when you have a signed copy by Terry Brooks because the signature makes it read better, and that is a fact. Uh, so anyways, I know there's going to be a seventh novel that he's going to be publishing in the next few years with Landover now that he has finished his uh, Shannara or Shannara series. And I also picked up this. This is Maneaters. I don't know much about this other than it being a graphic novel involving a teenager who thinks that she is turning into... Oh my god, it's signed on... Oh my god, it is signed on a maxi pad. That is the most unexpected signature I, I've i ever gotten. Yeah, it's just... It's a maxi pad. It's a sanitary napkin. Just glued into the cover with her signature on it in red. That is all right. Um, anyways, it's a graphic novel about a teenage girl whose body is going through changes, and the changes that she is worried about is that she is turning into a killer cat. And when her father, who is a detective, starts investigating some maulings going on, uh, she is aware that she is turning into this cat beast. And uh, are girls turning into killer cats? I don't know. They could be. Hence the man-eater title. Uh, it's like absurdist horror uh, is my, well, how it was described online. And it's, yeah, it's the most interesting signature I ever received from Chelsea Kane. Uh, so that's Man Eaters Volume 1. It was eight bucks. Uh, they did a sale. Are there like others fake ads in here? Astro Clean. It is fake ads. Oh my God. There's fake advertising in this. That is awesome. Anyways. Uh, they did a Cyber Monday sale back on Cyber Monday for a lot of titles from Rose City Comic Con. And the sale just never ended. It just it just kept going. So uh, a lot of the books, including uh, Kel Mitchell from Keenan and Kel, his book Prank Day, and Man Eaters are still on sale over on the signed page. So you can go and pick up a copy for pretty cheap. Uh, you can pick up a copy of these, uh, not the Landover titles, because those are sold out or they're not on the site anymore, but they're the Shannara or Shannara titles that you can still pick up as well, including uh, the Elfstones. Uh, yeah, like I said, I think this was supposed to be signed. Uh, but, you know, still worth supporting a good bookstore, so I'm not too disappointed. Uh, but yeah, I'll reach out. We'll see if they have signed copies available. Because if they don't, oh well, I mean, I've still got a paperback copy, you know. Why not? I like I can share paperback copies, unless it's signed, in which case I don't share too much because I am a hoarder. But if it's, you know, unsigned, then I can pass this along to someone else and get someone else hooked into the, the four lands. Uh, but anyways, check out the signed page. They have wonderful signed editions, such as these. Except not these anymore, because they're sold out. But that 
It's only eight bucks. I think it was like 13 bucks originally on sale for eight. You can't beat the price. It's incredible. Uh, check out Grimo Press as well. They're doing signed editions, signed limited editions of the Terry Brooks titles. Uh, the most recent they are now working on. Oh my God. What the hell one did they just do? Was it Druid? No. Is Druid the, the next one coming up? What is what is life? It is Druid. Okay, yeah. Yeah, they said Scions. They're doing Druid next. That one is coming out uh, in just a few weeks, actually. It's being announced in a few weeks. Uh, they used to do Kickstarters for them, but now they're not doing Kickstarters. They're just doing a straight old, hey, go buy the book kind of deal with them. Anyways, thank you very much for watching. Please consider liking and subscribing, and we'll see you around next time.